Good morning, Wittenberg engineers, and welcome to Eye on Engineering. Today is Monday, November 12th. It, it, today will be a high of 73 degrees and rainy. It's, Ameri it's American Education Week at AJ Wittenberg. On today's show, Spotlight in Engineering, we, we will be taking a look at American Education Week. Let's start, let's start at the Pledge of Allegiance. Scott, will you lead us in the pledge? Yes, Finn, engineers, please stand. Salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Engineers, you may be seated. Back to the studio. Thanks, Guy. Engineers, it's now time for a moment of silence. Hey Finn, do you know what's for lunch? No, Marin, but Elio does. Hey Elio, what's for lunch? For Monday, November 12th, AJ's Cafe is serving up some finger-looking good food. Today's menu includes chicken pot pie, hummus plate, vegetation station, broccoli cheddar soup, California blend, pineapple tibbets, orange milk. It's lips smacking good. Yum, yum. Back, back to you, man. Ma Thanks, Ellie and Rabriana. I, ca I can't hardly wait. My mouth is already watering. Today in the opponent's corner is Charlie and Aha. Charlie? All My Great Excuses by, All my great excuses by Ken Nesbitt. I started on my homework, but my pen ran out of ink. My hands are ate by homework. My computer is on the blank. I actually, I accidentally dropped it in the soup my mom was cooking. My brother flushed it down the toilet when I wasn't looking. My mother ran my homework to the washer and the dryer. An airplane crashed into our house. My homework caught on fire. Tornadoes flew my notes away. Volcanoes struck our town. My notes were taken hostage by an e evil killer clown. Some aliens abducted me. I had a shark attack. A pirate swiped my homework and refused to give it back. I worked on these excuses, so all my teachers said, I think you'll find it's easier to do the work instead. Back to the studio. Thanks, Charlie and Neha. What a great salute to American and to American Education Week. I liked some of the excuses. What was your favorite? My favorite was the one about the pirate where I swiped his homework. Mm -hmm. Now for some facts about American Education Week. Preston and Olivia are on location at a room schoolhouse in Kansas. Today, today we are talking to you at this this one room schoolhouse close to Topeka, Kansas. We are going to talk about schools in 1800s. Back in 1854, schools on the frontier were different from today. The schools only had one room and all the kids were taught together. The children did not start school in September either. 
In fall time, the harvest time, and kids had to pick apples, husk corn, carry water, and cook them. Cook the men work. Cook for the men working um, in the fields. They also gathered firewood and helped preserve the fruits and vegetables. Children worked until November when they harvest was over and then they went to school. Schools were only open in the winter and summer. The children had to plant and plow in the spring and help harvest in the fall. The older boys often didn't go to school in the summer because, because of farm work. Sometimes in the winter the boys stayed home and worked on the farm also. Students of all ages were in the same class. Some of the younger students were three or four years old and other students were sometimes older than the teacher. Students were grouped by age. They were grouped by what book they were using. They all worked together on the same subject. They had to memorize verses and important dates in history, and then they had to recite them in front of the cla class or quietly to the teacher. Sometimes the students were given a reward of merit, which showed them that they had done well. It was an honor to receive a certificate because paper and printed materials were scarce on the frontier. Most teachers didn't get paid much money. They received $4 to $10 a month. A lot of teachers had to board around, meaning they had to live with their students. Are you glad your teacher doesn't live with you? As you can see, school has changed a lot. Wow, Preston, <coughs> would you want to live with your teacher? <coughs> More tomorrow reporting from Topeka, Kansas. Back to the studio. Thanks, Preston and Olivia. I don't know about your teacher living in your house with you, though. Today, for Today in History, Zach and Deja. Today in History, in 1983, the Vietnam Memorial in Washington, D.C. was dedicated. The long-awaited memorial was a simple V-shaped black granite wall just inscribed with the names with the names of the 57,939 Americans who died in the conflict, arranged in order of death, not rank, as was common in other memorials. This memorial is a way for us to pay our respects for the men and women who gave their lives for our freedom. On, today, on this day in 1850, Louis Stevenson, author of Treasure Island, a child's garden verse, is born in Scotland. Stevenson was a civil engineer. Happy birthday, Robert Louis Stevenson. In 1927, after seven years of construction and over $48 million, the Holland Tunnel, New York, New York City's connection to New to Jersey City, New Jersey, opened to traffic. It was named after the chief engineer of construction, Clifford Milburn Holland, who died before the tunnel was completed. Today in 1997, Disney's The Lion King opened on Broadway. This marked the biggest change for Broadway community in New York City. Roar! More tomorrow, back to the studio. Thanks, Zach and Deja. We have a, we have two special guests. First, Mr. Ron. And Ms. Falls. Good morning, <laughs> AJ Engineers. First, I just want to say that I am so proud of you for all the hard work that you've been doing with recycling. But remember, what we talked about at the beginning of the school year. Recycling is not the only way that we can reduce waste. And reducing waste is really, really important. We want to conserve our natural resources and we want to protect our environment. So we're going to start on an exciting new project. We are going to build a greenhouse in our garden entirely out of plastic bottles. It's going to be so much fun and I need your help. I need you guys to bring in two liter plastic bottles straight up and down that are clear. They need to be clean, rinse them out at home and take the label off and bring them in. We need more than 2,000 of these bottles to build our greenhouse. 
and for everyone that you bring in, I'm going to give your class a point in the race to no waste. So let's reduce our waste and let's build a greenhouse. It'll be fun. Back to the studio. Thanks, Ms. Durant. Trials for Ion Engineering. Oh, and Ms. Qualls coming now. Good morning, AJ Wittenberg Engineers. I'm here to announce the winners of the Box Tops Bonanzas contest. We have three winners, a third place winner, second place winner, and also first, um, first place. For third place goes to Ms. Looper's class. Your class will receive a $10 gift certificate where you can buy cool classroom supplies for your classroom. Second place winner is Ms. Wilson's class. Your class will receive a $15 gift card to buy cool classroom supplies as well. And first place winner, drum roll, is Ms. Anders' class. Congratulations, your class will receive a $25 gift card. Continue to collect box tops. Thank you and have a great day. Thanks, Ms. Claus. Trots Ryan Engineering is this week. Notices are being sent home this week. Second grade will try out tomorrow. Third, third grade will try out on Thursday. And fourth will try, will try out on Friday. You need to get approval from your parents and teachers. Thanks, engineers. It's now time to sign off. Have a great day, and don't forget to keep in gear. G, give your best every day. E, exercise more problem solving. A, act responsibly. R, respect yourself and others. I'm Finn. And I'm Marin. Signing off. Have a great day.